Oh, this is James Gunn, the guy on the bike, but I'm not on the bike tonight. And we're coming to you from 90 Madison Avenue. We're gonna run in and take a look at an exhibition here by John Kern. As we know, the uh, Gagosian Gallery has one of the toughest no photo policies in the city, so it's a crapshoot as to whether we'll get to do any real camera work, so uh, we'll see what happens. We're down on the down low, and we come in, and there's Larry. I often want to ask him, Larry, Larry, why don't you let me come in and video? Anyway, it's, they always seem to have a pretty glamorous uh, turnout here at these parties. I came down here and saw this security guard at the end. He was giving me the eye. I decided I'd better uh, turn around and start on this side. I actually think that uh, John Curran's figure studies are pretty, uh, pretty darn good. This is a beautiful figure study, and I like them because a lot of these are of more mature women, and um, they're realistic which I think kind of shows a love and respect on, on John's side. This one, uh, especially the reflection in the mirror and that line there going into her navel is it's a really good uh, realist painting. Oh, there's Dana Schutz. Dana gets out to see all the important painting. Oh, this is one of the major pieces that's a Kind of a risque multi-figure study. Very beautiful, but uh, it made me think of this quote by Rosalind Deutsch and Kara Gelden Ryan from October number 31, 1984. And it's, it says, These newly heralded geniuses work for a parvenu class of collectors who want art with an insured resale value, which will at the same time fulfill their desire for mildly pornographic titillation, romantic cliches, easy reference to past masterpieces, and good decor. So that was what people were saying about things like this 25 years ago, and I guess it hasn't changed much. Oh, the security guy was very nice. This painting actually made me, for some reason, think of Tiepolo, and one of the pieces that has a frame that's kind of over the top, but not in a, not in a good way. That's Peter Sheldahl. Now he's a very famous critic for the New Yorker magazine. I think he's probably a fan of John. You know, there's another quality about these recent nudes that I thought was interesting. They really have a kind of a 1930s, maybe late Art, de Art Deco or even some kind of uh, fascist kitsch, kitsch sensibility about them. I don't know whether this piece is a caricature or whether it's kind of verging on grotesque or what, but this is one of the pieces where John sort of gets into the comical, funny side of pushing the imagery. Take a sweep down this wall. Oh. This is probably a young collector there, maybe a future collector. This is unusual. This is one of the only pieces that he's got any male figures in his paintings. And it's another one of these kind of kinky, strange situations. I guess you have to pick, figure out your own narrative. Here we've got a tailor measuring someone's short shorts. Kind of looks like a average New York businessman, but those those shorts are a little uh, too revealing. I like the way he masked out the uh, image there in the mirror. I think that's, oh, there's a security guard. He stopped a photographer next to me from snapping a picture, but he didn't get the spy cam. This is another very, very beautifully painted erotic scene of two ladies kissing and necking, and there is a, I guess, a rococo quality about some of these 
Makes me think of Watteau or Boucher. But John is very good at capturing the textures and the folds and the drapery. It's very classical. It's almost manneristic. I wanted to contrast this piece against the, the earlier single female nude. Yes, I think both of those are very well done, beautifully rendered, you know, wealthy ladies with their fur coats. This is a kind of an understated, but I thought was maybe one of the most uh, wonderful paintings in the show. This is pretty much a straight ahead portrait and it doesn't have a lot of the weird erotic content, but the rendering on this shirt and the pearls really is beautiful. That's, that's as good as anything Norman Rockwell ever did. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> this is kind of a strange figure piece. I, I was thinking there's almost an abstract element about the way that this nude is sort of pushed down into the corner, her body contouring to the lower left edge of the picture plane. Oh, I think that's Rachel Feinstein, Mrs. John Curran. And I think she's the inspiration of the muse for a lot of these, these portraits, maybe even this one here. Another strange painting almost presents this very uh, robust, very ample woman with the giant hands. It makes me think of uh, late Renoir, or maybe uh, some of the strange de Caracos from his later career. Now this is the last piece in the show that we're looking at. This is great, this is like two ladies in the gardens of Arcadia, but even when you get into these mythical gardens, it seems like you're still gonna find yourself wearing a maiden form bra. It's nice the way the ribbons sort of add an abstract element. And this is another piece that has you know, an extravagant frame, but it's not really over the top enough, so it's kind of restrained. There's the artist, John Kern. Okay. <laughs> Thank God we made it out. Let's head for the gates. Well, so that was it. We'll see what we get when we get home. Thanks, Kate.